Welcome to the Logistics Point interviews. I'm joined by Nico Povenen from Logmore, and we're going to talk about sustainability, what happened in the area in 2022, and the expectations for 2023. Nico, thank you very much for joining me. Thank you, Nick. So how would you evalu evaluate what happened in 2022 around sustainability in supply chain? I think it's important to kind of like take apart sustainability. Like often we, we talk about three different types of sustainability. There's like the, uh, the most common one, the environmental sustainability, but uh, then there is social and economical uh, sustainability as well. And I think 2022 in logistics was a lot more about economical sustainability rather than environmental. It doesn't mean that environmental sustainability didn't happen. Of course, it was quite a big trend and it continues to be a trend for the foreseeable future. But uh, during 2021, we saw so much uh, disruptions in the global supply chains, which I think led to the situation where most of the uh, companies managing their supply chains really needed to focus on fixing these challenges and issues they've had to make their whole supply chain work economical standpoint so they can actually continue their uh, business operations and all that. Do you think that companies have overcome that economic unsustainable behavior and challenges and now we'll actually really focus on what we perceive as sustainability, which is, you know, green initiatives, environmental initiatives? You can, for example, see the um, full container load cost index, index to um, like basically returning to the pre-COVID-19 uh, range. Uh, so the prices have found their way to be like economically sustainable again, which makes the life a whole lot easier for quite many big shippers that have a lot of containers uh, going around. So I think now we can all really focus on the environmental aspect. We are seeing a lot of development, especially in like reusable packaging and more closed loop supply chain structures where the different equipment more easily flows uh, like around and around. Was there a slowdown in the technology adoption in 2022 because of what we mentioned earlier as an economic uncertainty? Quite a many of the um, technological advantages that, that are now being implemented into the supply chain, uh, like vertical, actually do help with the economical sustainability as well. So, um, like, it, it, it doesn't necessarily add costs to be more, uh, like, sustainable, even from, like, environmental perspective. Of course, there is, like, a certain uh, investment often needed to implement new processes because the supply chains might be or usually tend to be quite uh, complex and there is a lot of like subsidiaries or subcontractors or other operations that you need to involve to the implementation of new technology. But uh, if we look beyond that, it's usually actually like cost savings that you get from, from these new technologies that you can implement. Is there something that you believe will really be adopted by the industry in 2023, but also again in the next few years. We've seen over the past few years, a lot of more like uh, more sustainable packaging, more um, analytic software. Uh, the supply chains are changing also from like the operational perspective. Like for example, if we look at uh, life sciences, like pharmaceutical industry in special, uh, like specifically the, um, uh, direct patient deliveries, for example, is quite a big growing trend, which, of course, it needs some, like, implementation of new technology to enable that change. But as a whole, it also, like, changes the whole structure. Instead of shipping, like, container loads of goods, you need to ship, like, single boxes of, uh, for example, personalized medicine. So these kind of like trends that are like underlying, like below the te technical trends um, to also like affect the technical layer of the, uh, of the industry. But um, if we talk about tech, like integration of 
integrations of different like software systems to speak with each, with each other through APIs like IoT in general, robotics, these kind of trends, they really continue to exist and, and, and grow. Have companies reached that level of maturity where there is not a question of why do I need this, but how do I implement it and make the most out of it? COVID changed that quite a bit. Even though like the supply chain disruptions and challenges, they, um, on the other hand, were quite devastating for some businesses and even on personal level. But uh, on the other hand, like it really brought down the focus on, on logistics and supply chains. It's, it's become like a strategic thing rather than like a cost center thing. So that's that's a big change. And uh, we also need like in long long run, as, as a industry vertical, I think it's super important that we're able to pull in talent from, from different industry verticals out there. We need to continue this trend and, and embrace this trend. Logistics is something that students want to jump in and learn about and, and continue on that career. So we get the talent and get the uh, people to make all these trends possible in the long run. Nico, thank you very much for your time.